All right, well, good evening. Uh, I'm Michael Gold, and I'm a GYN oncologist at the Tulsa Cancer Institute. Tonight, we're going to do the second of our gynecologic oncology webinars, and I hope at the end you'll have a better understanding of cervical, vaginal, and vulvar cancers in addition to radiation therapy. Um, as you're well uh, familiar with, we'll start off with 20 questions. Each question will um, be on the screen for 25 seconds. After completion of those, 25, of those 20 questions, we'll then have a discussion period that will last the remainder of the hour, uh, and we'll have some time at the end for questions and answers if you have any. So at this point, let's begin with the first question, and I uh, hope you enjoy tonight. All right, moving on to uh, the vulva again. Question number nine. This is a 70-year-old who has a 2.1 centimeter exophytic erythematous lesion on the extreme lateral aspect of her left labia majora. Uh, we take a biopsy, which shows invasive squamous cell carcinoma to a depth of least, uh, I'm sorry, to a depth of three millimeters. The most appropriate next step will be. Well, it's not going to be a radical vasectomy with bilateral inguinal lymph node uh, lymphadenectomy. It's not going to be bilateral because this is an extremely lateralized surgical margin that's uh, one to two centimeters, uh, both circumferentially around the lesion and also the deeply uh, and also deep, which means excising down to the external fascia of the urogenital diaphragm. Um, this removes all the fat beneath the epithelium in the vulva, um, making sure that we get a, a deep margin also. And then the defect is commonly closed in layers. Um, inguinofemoral lymph nodes will be evaluated for any patient with uh, depth of invasion greater than one millimeter. 